you get involved with the river and you go to sections that um, a lot of other people haven't been to and you just see some of the beauty, um, it's quite breathtaking. You, you sort of get a, a sense of a living living thing in the, in the river. My name's Saul Vermeer and I'm with the Crangamite Catchment Management Authority and we're here today um, to do some aquatic sampling uh, of the Mirable River and as part of this sampling it's um, basically using electro fishing um, boat to be able to uh, look at deep, deep in the water column to be able to sample for fish. Um, so this project was uh, basically funded by the Victorian Environmental Water Holder to support our environmental water watering program for the Mirable River and basically the, the data that we're, that we're collecting through this pro project um, will assist us with how we deliver flows down the Mirable system and then onto the Barwon, Barwon River here in Victoria. Environmental water uh, is basically a water allocation um, that's used to support uh, environmental outcomes to, to achieve environmental objectives, whether it's in a, a river or a wetland. Environmental water management, um, I guess, really hit its stride in 2010, um, where we had the peak, the peak of the millennium drought here in Victoria, um, where the river was really quite stressed with low flows and actually ceased to flow in some sections of the Mirabal. So at that point, um, government as a whole and, and many government agencies, partners like ourselves here at the Crangamite Cash and Management Authority, got together and thought, this is a critical time, we need to have water for the environment, for conservation. It's a lifetime really that I've, uh, I've had a, an association with, with the river, the uh, river systems and the aquatic uh, vegetation and animal life has been a passion of mine for all those years. It's, uh, it, it's fascinating what they're doing, the, uh, the number of fish, the number of species of fish that are here, but um, we've got somehow to, to improve the, the river flows, otherwise the, uh, the quality of the um, aquatic life is going to deteriorate. And, uh, it won't improve unless we do something to, to improve the, the water flow and the water uh, quantity. Or you can start to uh, save the, the river or the aquatic environment or the river banks or whatever. You have to know it's here first. The, the surveys are being done now. You can measure what's happening, you know what's, uh, what's going on, you know what species are surviving. So uh, these fish surveys are wonderful from my point of view. seen it deteriorate to a point where the, some of the pools were black and, and uh, we saw fish dying and etc etc so it's a river that's copped it pretty hard for a long long while and it's a river that needs everybody's efforts to try and bring it back to where it was. You know, I think all of us accept that um, we all, we're different species use the river differently um, and there should be a role for extracting water for human consumption and stock and domestic but um, there's a lot of other species that rely on that water as well and it's a matter of sharing it it's not a matter of any one section taking uh, of the living community taking uh, far above their share at present the Mirable River only receives about 10% um, of the environmental water it needs to support its the river ecology um, and we really need the community to understand why environmental water is so important. It's, it's not just something that's there for conservation, but it's also something we use um, that the community receives outcomes from, like, like fishing and recreational activities and, and bushwalking and, and even environmental education. As you've already seen today, there's been canoeists, dog walkers, um, and it just highlights the importance of um, environmental watering and, and some of those additional benefits um, that we see through the program.